Quick, graph y equals the quantity of x minus 5 squared by hand two different ways. This is part of the family of functions series. First way we're going to do is the, what we call the parabola dance. So normally we start at the origin, but because of the minus 5 inside the function, we need to shift each point to the right 5 units. So we're going to start at 5 comma 0. That will be our new vertex. From this point, we're going to do our parabola dance, which means write 1 up 1 because 1 squared is 1, write 2 up 4, write 3 up 9, left 1 up 1, left 2 up 4, and left 3 up 9. Connecting the points, we get our beautiful parabola. And then comparing that to the parent function y equals x squared, at certain at each point we can see that going from blue to green we go to the right five from the origin to the five zero, from the blue to the green is five units, and from here to there five units, for all points five units. The second way is using a table, so we'll have our standard parabola table with five key points on it. Again, this is my second table for y equals the quantity of x minus 5 squared. We're going to add 5 to each of the y coordinates because of that minus 5. Remember, it goes backwards when we have the quantity of x minus 5 in the, inside the function. So the 2 will become 7, but the y stays the same as 4. So 7 comma 4. 1 plus 5 is 6. The 1 stays the same, 6 comma 1. 0 plus 5 is 5, but the 0 for the y stays the same. Negative 1 plus 5 is 4, 4 comma 1. And negative 2 plus 5 is 3, 3 comma 4. And we're getting that symmetry thing going. So we'll connect the points, and there's our y equals the quantity of x minus 5 squared, and compare it to the parent function. As you can see, the graph of y equals the quantity x minus 5 squared is a horizontal shift to the right of 5 units of the parent function y equals x squared.